I welcome all of you and uh, you are watching the regular series on Europedia related to various uh, opportunities, jobs and uh, higher education opportunities in different universities globally. So uh, this series you are watching about uh, Denmark, you know technical university Denmark, one of the very reputed university and very good opportunities uh, for uh, Indian students with very good scholarship, no fees. And uh, this one is related to renewable green hydrogen. You know, many of you who just entered into MTech courses and uh, uh, are thinking about what project we should take, or they are into PhD, they just entered into PhD, or they are into BTech and thinking of what project we should do so that on the basis of the project we get, start getting the opportunities. You know, project itself can get you selected in ISRO, they, it can get you selected in placement. You know, it can get you selected in IITs for uh, higher education abroad, MS, PhD, postdoctorate fellowship. So, project is important. And from where we get an idea what project we should make, see what different universities are doing, what professors are doing, and green hydrogen, renewable green hydrogen is the term which you should know, every technocrat should know. And I will tell you that the person who has done some work in MATLAB and Python, MATLAB and Python and some mathematical modeling if you have done, I told you that if you are in IITs, NITs, IIITs doing masters, MATLAB, Python and mathematical modeling, simulation kind of things you should know. If you know that, then opportunities exist. So this is the PhD scholarship, uh, last date is uh, 1st September. So PhD scholarship in optimal design and operation strategies for renewable electrolysis based green hydrogen hub. That is the name of the basically topic. You know, you can read in detail, three years ka PhD program hai. Uh, aur ye Sino Denmark Center of Research and Education, China ke saath Denmark ka jo center research center hai, usne ye domain open kiya hai. Isme eight Danish universities are involved. So, you will get a really good exposure here and uh, you can build a strong network of international researchers and scholars. So, you can read in detail about this particular program. So, you know what is your roles and responsibilities will be there and what is the qualification requirement that also you can see. So, this is the, this uh, passage tells you what is required. Uh, you will focus on optimal design and operation strategy for green hydrogen hubs. So, what do we mean by green hydrogen hubs? Agar aap, uh, uh, is term ko, I didn't, uh, uh, just you start searching this term, you will get the meaning also of green hydrogen hub. So, it is from 1 megawatt to 1000 megawatt renewable energy sources such as wind power are deployed together with water electrolysis, electrolysis program and wind power, green hydrogen will be delivered uh, as a fuel, you know, green electricity. So, what do we mean by green hydrogen? So, what process is used? Water electrolysis and wind power. Uh, you know, we want to basically get green hydrogen hubs which will be source of renewable energy for us. Okay, so uh, what is the what is the requirement? You should have master's degree. You should have M.Tech degree, two years master's program. Good knowledge of mathematical modeling and simulation of power and energy systems. You know, you should be uh, knowing Python and MATLAB programming in this. And uh, that's it, I think. And uh, English language should be known to you. As I told you, uh, every student who is uh, in energy studies, energy science domain of uh, working and uh, is knowing MATLAB, Python and is interested to work in this domain further, you can apply for these kind of PhD programs. Good scholarships are offered. So the rest, uh, how it is to be done, how you will get selected and all what is the salary and employment that everything is there. But as I told you, these kind of countries may you get very good scholarship, uh, very good salary is offered. PhD is not a higher education course there. It is a salary. So you can get very good salary in these kind of universities. So how application is to be uh, filled and what is to be done that detail you can get from the mentors of your PD education. They will guide you. They will help you how to make a cover letter and how to apply. See, if your CGP is good in masters and uh, if you have worked some, something in this direction, in this domain, write a good uh, cover letter, write a good statement of purpose or research proposal and apply. The probability of getting selected is very high and these are very good courses. We will keep on uh, telling you different domains, different projects, different areas where you should work and 
uh, if you work seriously there for a year or two, there's a very good opportunities over there. Apply here if you have inclination related to this domain or talk to the mentors of your PDR. Thank you.